Autodesk Sketchbook Ibis Paint. Which one should you be using for digital art creations? Well, today we've got you covered. We're going to go ahead and check both of them out. Have a look at some of their advantages as well as some of their drawbacks and see which is more suited for your particular use case. Let's get into it. All right, so first off, we're going to jump into Autodesk Sketchbook and have a look at what they actually have to offer. So first of all, Sketchbook features a clean and intuitive interface, which is super easy to use. It makes just your whole experience a whole lot awesome. Trust me, um, you've got tons of um, beginner friendly tools. You can navigate through all of these and um, you'll still have access to advanced tools if you are an experienced artist. However, the app does include a wide range of brushes, pencils, tools, which of course allows for diverse artistic styles and techniques. Lovely. You can also create artwork on high resolution canvases, making it suitable for professional work and print quality designs if that's what you're looking for. Sketchbook is also designed to mimic traditional drawing, which provides smooth strokes and responsive performance, especially with a stylus input. It's also available on multiple platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and even Android. And it allows artists to work on their projects when they want to, wherever they want to. Also, Sketchbook offers a free version with essential features, uh, and the pro version is a one time purchase, making it super budget friendly actually, because there's no monthly premium. And, um, you know, once you've purchased it, you've got it. Uh, let's have a look at Ibis paint and what they have to offer as well in comparison ibis paint offers extensive brush customization options this allows you to create unique brushes tailored to your specific needs that's awesome just like you would you know with an actual brush the app also supports multiple layers with various blending modes enabling complex compositions and more detailed artwork also ibis paint has a built-in community where users can share their artwork and you can too share your artwork you can share tutorials uh, techniques and this just generally fosters a supportive environment for artists alike the app also includes features for creating more simple animations, expanding the creative possibilities for any types of users. Ibis Paint also provides a free version supported by ads, which can be removed with a one-time purchase, making it accessible for your more casual user. Also, it is designed specifically for mobile devices. Um, it offers a touch-friendly interface that enhances the drawing experience on your smartphone or even your tablet. Let's have a look, however, at one or two of the drawbacks of each one of these uh, platforms. While Sketchbook offers a robust toolset, some advanced features like the advanced layer management and um, there are one or two brushes that may be limited uh, compared to what Ibis Paint actually offers sketchbook also lacks that same level of community engagement found in ibis paint which we spoke about earlier on this can be a bit of a drawback if you're looking for a little bit of inspiration feedback and you know getting involved in the community that is like-minded also um the ibis paint app um, may experience some performance issues on the lower end devices especially when working with larger canvases or more um, layers than just one or two also, um, the ads in the free version of Ibis Paint, um, it can be a little bit distracting if you're trying to focus on your artwork and you're just trying to do your thing. An ad can be a bit off-putting. Now, if this guide was helpful, please go ahead and drop us a like. We know that both these softwares are awesome. Go ahead and comment down below which one you are leaning towards, and we'll see you in another awesome video. Peace.